Uh, books, magazines, nerd. I'm Dave Swift, editorial director of the Skateboard Mag, and this is serious business. This is probably one of the worst boards ever made, but still awesome. Skull Skates Mutant. That's the goofy footed version. I have no idea where I got it. Zorlak, Craig, always been the man. Original Zorlak. No, I'm not taking it off the wall. Danny Way, Blind Skateboards. Not many people know that Danny wrote for Blind. Short lived, wasn't in a video. Had an interview in Transworld at that time. Kind of cool mini truckers. I don't know, they reissued this. You can probably find it somewhere. Um, go Alan Losey board. Veriflex was like the original toy store brand, but they had a pro team. But their boards were super funky, like, no, but people wrote them and like ripped on them, but for some reason they were just different than anything else. And they, they came complete, like set up, bam! Like you got rails, the trucks, the wheels, every, the whole the whole kit. And everybody, nobody could ride these trucks, and I'd never rode them before. But I've never seen them, and I, I had this board. And uh, one day me and Neil, and Darren Neverett, like it was brand new. I just took it down to Claremont and we just started skating on it. And the trucks weren't even as bad as everybody had said. They were bad, but they weren't totally horrible. So I shot some photos of Darren on this board, like doing Ollie's the fakie. <laughs> That's the only time this thing's ever been ridden. Grip tape, photographs. Well, okay, well that, speaking of photographs, I happen to be once upon a time a photographer of the skateboard nature. So I have an original print, I don't know, somebody might remember it, of uh, Chris Markovich kick flipping the Carlsbad Gap. Somebody might, somebody might remember this place, I don't know, I hear it's famous. Anyways, story with this thing, it was the cover of Transworld in 94, I don't know, was Transworld still around? I can't remember. Um, I was there with a bunch of people, like Jamie Thomas was there, Deerdick, Richard Angelides, Mike Manzuri, just random people. <laughs> I wasn't even there with Chris. I think I was there with Rob. But so it was just like this big <laughs> session. People just skating it. Chris came, started trying to do the kickflip. Rob was trying to switch, just switch Ollie it. I think Jamie backs up one eight or Benny Haunted or I can't remember. He didn't Benny Haunted. It. Jamie would never do that. But he did. Um, so roll of black and white just sitting there and I look, kind of looked at the photo and I was like ah oh, it looks kind of fuzzy you know when you look at black and white negatives and you're just like eh I'm not really that into it I'm not really thinking at the time how gnarly a kickflip was Carlsbad Gap just like whatever kickflip didn't look like ah oh, big deal I wanted the switch ollie it was switch so I was just bummed that it wasn't super sharp and so I just kind of let it sit for about a week and then I went in and Chris was good friends with our art director at the time, Ted Newsom. And I think Ted had had the darkroom guy print one of these, and then Chris colored it. He goes, "What do you think about this for the cover?" This is Ted telling me, "I'm like, sure, <laughs> why not? Funky, but so the original. This is the original, sharpie and everything of that photo. Now I think I'm really cool because I have it. Back then I was like, damn, really that photo? Like, uh, didn't it's kind of mob, but sign of the times, right? I kept it. It's good, original, one of a kind. I don't think I have the negative, or if I do, it's missing. All of these, these were cool. Skin Phillips and I shot a pro spotlight with Jamie Thomas all in one day, and these were his boards that he rode that day. I had the trucks and wheels. Lent them to somebody, never got them back. <laughs> but, so his whole thing was hope and determination. Worked out for him. I kept them. Again, more pack rat. Kids, don't go there. Don't, don't. Don't make this happen again.